Hi, how are you? Okay, we'll see you at five. All right, bye. <gasps> Bugs scare us, spread germs, and eat our food. Experts say they destroy 13% of U.S. crops each year. Natural predators are our best allies in the war against these destructive pests. One of these allies is the praying mantis. The praying mantis has been copied in martial arts, been the subject of stories, and even a 1957 monster movie, The Deadly Mantis. The movie had it partly right. The mantis is a monster to bugs. But make no mistake, the praying mantis is our friend. We spoke to Gary Havel, an entomologist with the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History, about the beneficial role the praying mantis plays. They keep the populations of insects down because uh, if predators such as a mantid were not present, the insects that might take over. There's caterpillars and other insects that uh, the mantid eats and that's be quite beneficial to everyone. How many bugs does a praying mantis eat in its lifetime? We put this question to Dr. Gerald Brust of the University of Maryland. I would guess anywhere from 100 to 500, depending on the size of the prey. A lot of big prey, they're not gonna consume as many. A lot of small prey, they'll consume a lot more of them. How does a mantis catch its prey? Usually with stealth, they, they sort of blend into the background. There's mantids and mantises in uh, different parts of the world that look just much like the flower that they sit on or near. So the colors are the same and they don't move until they have to. When an insect is uh, there visiting the flower, they mantid very quickly like a chameleon the chameleon throws out his tongue and grabs the insect. The mantid throws its legs out and grabs them with their legs. The adult praying mantis is a giant in the insect world that grows as large as 10 inches in length. What other predator does the mantis most closely resemble? Probably something like a raptor. Some people might think Tyrannosaurus rex, but more of a raptor. They uh, use their front uh, legs a little bit more than, uh, of course, Ty Tyrannosaurus rex couldn't use his front legs because they were pretty useless. And uh, the, the uh, praying mantis would uh, sit and wait, much like the raptors do, and then strike very quickly. How does the mantis avoid birds and other enemies? It, uh, it avoids birds and probably some of the other insect enemies that it has. Uh, by being camouflaged and sitting very still uh, on a particular plant that it looks a lot like. It camouflaged into that plant so that it's the birds can't see. Birds are very visual. A lot of the other insect prey are visual. Uh, predators are visual. And so if they can't pick out the, uh, the praying mantid, they won't be able to uh, eat it. Luckily, most insects have uh, flight, so although the mantis is fairly uh, clumsy in flight, they can fly away, and that sometimes uh, avoids uh, being eaten. Uh, some of them will drop to the uh, floor, just uh, let go of the um, uh, plant that they're on and drop to the forest floor or the ground. The mantis is primarily a night flyer, and it has evolved a fascinating defense to avoid its main enemy in the dark. At night, when the, uh, that's when it flies the most, is in the evening, nocturnal uh, flights, uh, when it's looking for the female. It, uh, it avoids bats, by it has one ear, and that's on its belly. It, it, if you were looking at me, if I was a uh, mantid and I had six legs and I had these two up here and these two down here and I had another pair right here, the, the hole would be right here about, about my belly button. And it's the one ear. And it's the ear is sort of built so it can hear um, certain wavelengths of sound. And those wavelengths happen to be the same wavelength as bat sonar. So the bats release this sound so that they can fly, fly and find their prey and um, the uh, mantid uh, picks, up, picks up this um, uh, frequency 
and once it picks up that frequency, it, it goes into a uh, dive. It, it, it stops fluttering, stops flying, it arches its back and its legs go out so that if it's flying along like this, it suddenly hears that and it just drops like that. And so when that happens, and it's, it can't tell if bat's coming from this direction or this direction because it only has one ear. So it can't tell what direction it's coming from. It just drops straight down. And chances are it's going to avoid a, vat, a bat if it does that real quickly. The praying mantis is known for its voracious appetite. Do they ever stop eating? I don't know that they do. That's their lifestyle. They're, I guess you could call them the dogs of the insect world. Dogs, you know, will just not stop eating if there's anything available. So mantids take advantage of whatever they can find because they may have periods of time that they don't find something, so they have to stuff themselves to tide themselves over. Probably in a captured environment, if you continuously fed them, they would eventually become satisfied. But they are difficult, especially when they're smaller. And once they become adults, I, I'll, they probably can be satisfied. But when they're immatures, they probably can't be. Because the, 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 all an insect wants to do when it's an immature is grow up. And the only way it can grow up is by consuming food. And the faster it consumes food, the faster it grows. Unlike humans, you know, we have to wait year after year after year until we, get, until we grow a certain size. But with insects, if they can consume enough nourishment, they can go through a, uh, a stage of their development much more quickly. So they'll try to put on as much weight as they can, as quickly as they can. And it, it would be hard to satiate them uh, when they're smaller, but I, I think it'd be possible in a caged environment. But out in nature, they're probably never satiated, never. They're always hungry. The mantis keys on motion. Notice in this next sequence how the attention is drawn to the crickets based on their movement. The mantis is lightning fast. Its strike is like a blur. The typical strikes of the mantis in this film took less than two tenths of a second. We hope you enjoyed our movie. And by the way, mantids make great pets. That's right. And they're not aggressive. They don't bite. Uh, well, at least not people anyway. If you're interested in owning your own mantid, then go to eBay. The praying mantid as, a, as an insect is pretty, pretty unique as an animal in this world.